Hello everyone. I'm Max from Canada. I'm Suji from Thailand. We are a married couple living in Thailand together with their 12 dogs. And today, Alicia Vikanda, the actress, is going to teach us about Swedish slang. And it's funny, when I read her name, I was like, wait, do I know her? No, I know the girl from the dra dragon tattoo from the movie in the trilogy and the book. I don't know. It's just, uh, Naomi Rapaz, I think she's a Swedish actress, and I confuse her with uh, Alicia Vikander. But Alicia Vikander, I think she's the new Tomb Raider after oh. Angelina Jolie. And she made the new uh, Tomb Raider movie from, I think, five or six years ago. I, don't, I, I, think, I, I think it's her, but anyway, let's react to her telling, her telling us about the Swedish slang. Yes, let's go. Let's get started. Oh, by the way, we have buy me a coffee. Yes, and channel membership if you want to support our channel. Uh, that will be greatly appreciated. Yes, all the money go towards our dog. Yes. Yes. Let's get started. Let's go. I'm pretty I, sure I that know. this is a slang for the police. Let's hope I'm right. I'm Alicia Vikander, and today we're going to look at some Swedish slang. It's what? <laughs> Barkis. It kind of sounds a bit Barkis. like baked, <laughs> but it actually means being hung over in Swedish. Oh. Fjortis. If you're a bit of a young brat, then you're a fjortis. We've all been one. Fjortis. Bida, bida, bash, bash. This is a word for beer. Sweden is very famous Best. for having quite insane sayings. And this is a really good one. It's no cow on the ice. And that means, <laughs> don't worry, at least there's no cow on the ice. You can go out and use that one. What? You know what? 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 No cow? <laughs> wait, 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 what? And this is a really good one. Ingen kopa isen. Well, it's no cow on the ice. And that means, no. <laughs> don't worry, at least there's no cow on the ice. Can go. No what in the ice? No cow in the ice. Wait, what? No cow on the ice. No, I don't and understand that means, this one. <laughs> don't worry, at least there's no cow on the ice. Can go out and use that one today. This is also a good word to use when you're bakis. Rund under fötterna. You're round underneath your feet. Is imagen. That is to have ice in your tummy. Oh my god, it's so difficult to explain. If you're nervous, ice you should just have tummy. some ice in the tummy. You should just relax and it's all gonna calm down in a second. Oh, Stia, okay. get it. How is the ice in your tummy making you? I thought you're gonna freeze to death. You're not gonna calm down. True. I better have some warm thing. Yeah, right? You want something warm in your tummy when you're yes. not something cold like oh, ice. Maybe Maybe whole country, the thing like that. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Stekare. And with maybe a bit of an open shirt, maybe some back slick hair who likes to pop champagne at Saint Tropez in the summers. Sling okay. the vegan. Throw yourself against the wall. I would never use this. This is like so old fashioned. If someone's being outrageous, you would say, no! Throw yourself against the wall. Go some cat. Isn't it? Throw yourself against the wall when, 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 when you want to, like, seduce someone? Is it that what you slang being vagin? Rages. You would say, no! Throw yourself against the wall. Go some katten runt het gröt. Bok. Okay, I need to pronounce this. Throw yourself against the wall. Go some katten runt het gröt. Go so katten kring en gröt. Go some katten kring en gröt. Bok. Like a cat around the hot porridge. You're kind of just circling around the danger, not getting too close, because then you might burn. Oh, oh okay, I understand this one, though. What like, the, like the cat around the... the what she said? Bork like a cat around the hot porridge. You like a uh, cat around the hot porridge, like it's... Uh, kind of just circling around the danger, not getting mm. too close, because then you might burn. Okay, oh, this, this is sense. a good one. Sambo Some... is two people living together, and mm. Vict is wait. So this is the weight that you reach when you start dating with somebody, having long dinners oh. in front of the TV watching Netflix. Taganir. It's not Taganir. something I would say that sounded funny when I said it. Calm down a bit. Just relax. Aww. Oh. Misa. Cuddle. Oh. Knull. Rufs. Am I allowed to say this Knull. word in Swedish? It's a, a f toss. I'm going to leave that with you and you can come up with the best time to use that word. Yetilbom. Wait. What is a f toss though? Even if she, even if I know that it means, f I don't know what that means. Oh, what what does it mean? I'm gonna leave that with you, and you can come up with the best time to use that word. Ge til balka for gamalust. Ge til balka for gamalust. I'm out. <laughs> Revenge for old cheese. An old cheese 
it doesn't mean like fight or anything. It actually just means old cheese. For Swedish people, this makes a lot of sense. Just imagine if someone had left a really stinky cheese <gasps> underneath your bed without you knowing. Skooks, toki. Oh, yeah, if you... okay. Wait, does it make sense? Leaving your cheese under your bed? Oh, it's like a, a revenge because it smells so bad. Okay, I guess so. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. Cheese underneath your bed I guess it without makes you sense. knowing. Skooks, toki. Yeah, if you've Stugs, been away tukig. from people for too long, you might just go a bit nuts. You get oh. skooks, toki. When someone tells you something that you don't buy, really, then you say, <laughs> Then gubben går inte på. In Swedish we also have some Inglified words. If something is just freaking awesome, you can in Swedish say Shit vom fritt alltså. I like this Hey! Word. That's French! You can in Swedish say Shit You know the meaning? It's... Pommes frites mean uh, apple fries. Oh. Like... Shim uh, pommes frites! Fritt alltså. I like this word. If someone's really cute and hot, you can say that they're a real pudding. Oh. Pudding. I was brought up Pudding. in the second biggest town uh, of Sweden. We had a kind of a saying or a slang for the people from fancy Stockholm, from the capital, and we used to call them Nolotur, which no is lotto. just the area code, which is zero eight. Here's a oh. new one for me. Uh, this is Unt i håret, which means pain <laughs> in my hair. It's another hungover word. It's a Wait, new word. It's the way that it look, it sounds nothing like how she pronounce it, though. True, true. You Some of the words are not our language. Zero eight. Yeah, wait. Here's a new one for me. Uh, this is ont i håret, which means... On in håret. But where's the R? On i On in håret. And she pronounced the H, though. It's really... Uh, we don't pronounce the H in French, which is on in håret. It's, it's like a... L instead of R every Zero time. Eight. Wait, Here's a new again. one for me. Uh, this is und i håret, which means... See? Und i håret. There's no R, it's L. It's always, it's like in Thai. She, she doesn't, she don't, they don't pronounce the R. Re. Like it would be aret, not olet. Uh, she pronounced like an L every it's time. Pain in my hair. It's another hungover word. It's a new word for me. Thank pain you. Pain in my hair. Our slang and our sayings show that we're pretty innovative. It's a lot of stories being told. Thank you for checking in with Alicia Vikander. Oh, no, I, awesome. <laughs> I didn't even have time to understand. I was trying to understand her pronunciation. Because yeah. the way that she pronounced the word and the way that I would have pronounced it is so different. But... There's, there's a certain uh, style that she pronounced in that I'm trying to get in my head now for next time, trying to remember how she pronounced the word. And it was quick. Yeah. And yes, we're going to need to repeat not just the second time, but it had to be more than five times to yeah, understand actually, everything. Yeah, actually, maybe Yeah, maybe we need a video about the Swedish language now. Another video when the whole history of the Swedish language we can help us with the pronunciation of everything, maybe, yeah. <laughs>